Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good morning. So today we are going to continue for the next chapter, uh, which is uh, classes. Okay, before before that, please make sure you have uh, submit the attendance. Uh, if you encounter any problem, please let me know. Uh, and do you hear me? Yes. Yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. Please let me know if it's mute. Yes, doctor. Because I didn't know. Okay. All right. So for today, we are going to, uh, we are going to concentrate on the classes. But before that, we are. Uh, I just want to recap. Uh, why do we analyze requirements? So requirement or the use case model that you have developed last week uh, alone is not enough. Okay, so if you can recall your use case diagram uh, focusing on the functionality of the system or functional requirements. So uh, there may be repetition in terms of functionality. Some part may already exist as standard component and use cases give little information about the structure of software system. So therefore, uh, UML come up with another diagram focusing on the structure of the system. Last time, use cases is focusing on the functionalities or the functional requirements of the system. So this time, we have to look at the system in the context on the perspective of structure. Okay, if I say structure, let's say you have a house. What is the structure of a house? Is uh, we have windows, we have doors, uh, we have uh, you know rooftop. That is the structure of a house. Okay, if you talk about a human, what is the structure of a human? We have nose, we have legs, we have name, we have head, and etc. Okay. So I will not go into this. Okay. All right. Uh, structure models basically um, we can use CRC card, which uh, I will cover next week. For today, we are going to cover class diagram. Okay, so I will straight away go to this basic element of the structure modeling. When we talk about structural modeling, we focus on the class or objects and objects. Okay, and all objects, and then uh, it has attribute, it has operation, and it has relationship. Okay, so the relationship, uh, we can look at it in terms of association, aggregation, composition, and generalization. So this is the basic element. I will go into straight that this. Okay, so how how class looks like, all right? So basically, uh, through the definition of OMG, a description of a set of objects with similar features, similar is the keyword. Similar features, semantics, and constraints. So, so this is how a class looks like. Okay, it has three compartments. The first compartment is the compulsory one because this is the place where you name your class. Okay, so we call it as a class name compartment. And second, we have attributes. And then the last one is the operation compartment. So the attributes and operation is not compulsory. Because if you do not have class name, then you do not know what is the name of the class, right? So the upper one is the compulsory one. Okay, this is another example. This one is a class example. Okay, this is a class. This one is a, is a object. Okay, before I forget, can someone record this video? I forgot lah. Okay, can you boleh tekan kat sini? It's recording, doctor. Is recording? Ah, okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so if you look at this one, it has only two compartments. The first one is class and class name, and another one is the attributes name. So the difference between this one and the previous one, there is no name for client. See? So client is a class. If you have the object that explain what do you mean by client, or as example uh, of a client, so it means you are talking about an object. So this is how you um, draw the, the object. The, you are using the same thing, this box. Okay, It has actually uh, only two 
uh, compartments. One is the object name compartment where you put the name of the client with the colon and the underline. Okay. Usually, we uh, as long as I can see that you have name, colon, something, then it means I know that you are telling me this is an object, not a class. All right. And then followed by attribute values. So all the attribute that you mentioned previously, you have example. Okay. So this object, uh, object diagram, we are not really focusing on object diagram, but uh, there is another diagram we call it as an object diagram. Um, uh, the elaborate elaboration, or we call it the, the detailed explanation of the class diagram. Usually, uh, end user like it better compared to class diagram because they can see all the example. What do you mean by this class diagram? What do you mean by this class diagram? You know, what do you mean by this attribute? Because you have to put all the the the, the detail, the exact uh, information. Okay. So instances do not have operation. Lah. So it's on the two. Okay. So there are two general kinds of classes. So uh, concrete and abstract. So usually we use a uh, concrete lah. It's exactly from the case study. Uh, it's a domain classes. Domain it means like what the let's say you want to develop um, accommodation system. So best what basically the structure of accommodation system. That is the domain. Lah. And then what is the user interface involved? Data structure, file structure, operating environment, document classes, uh, and other thing multimedia classes. So basically your class diagram must be very complicated. It's not only about the thing that you explain in the functional reality, uh, functional requirement, but also uh, you also uh, you can mention in main interfaces involved the all the infrastructure. Infrastructure means your server, your let's say your sensor, your camera, uh, everything. You can put it inside the class diagram. It's, it has everything about uh, the system. It's the structure of the system. Okay. At analysis stage, uh, we are interested only on the domain classes. So because uh, our it, at this point, our class diagram we develop at the beginning. So it's an analysis level. And then, okay, that is the example from a parking attendant class and the customer class. This one is a component domain class. Another one they call it as abstract. Abstract is something more. Instead of you put a student class, you have like people class, user class, uh, or maybe you have something like a living thing class. You know, it's more abstract. Okay, so this kind of system usually is meant for. It can be applied to many kind of situation. Okay, we seldom use uh, at your at your level. We don't really go for abstract lah. We go to concrete, but it's uh, possible to have that. Okay, and then we have attribute information about the class, right? So example, a customer class has a possible relevant attribute of email, date of birth, and phone number. So it's something like this. Huh? You just draw like this. Okay. Uh, it's kind of boring actually. Okay, just like this. Uh, okay, when you have a class, you know that you have a class name, you have an attribute, and you have operations. Right, so the operations is more like the methods that you're going to develop in your implementation. Okay, if you notice this, it has uh, this one negative, positive. All right, so the negative mean, uh, means private. Okay, the positive means public. All right, there is another one, uh, hashtag. So hashtag means protected. Okay, I think you seldom use protected. So it's okay lah. Usually it's a negative or positive, right? So this is another one. It's about relationship. Okay. So the relationship so far we have this association. It's a fine line, and there are other things as well. But then so far we go for association, and then we got aggregation, composition, and generalization. So basically all of this is about relationship. Actually, there are so many relationships in the class diagram. This is the basic one. Okay. So, for example, uh, owner feeds pet. Okay. Aggregation, tail, uh, sorry, uh, bird, 
composed of has tail. Okay, bird has tail. Tail is part of bird. Uh, like this one, bird is part of, okay. This one is also is part of, but then it's compulsory. Bird cannot exist without the brain. Right, generalization, you get used to it, inheritance. So, pet, uh, sorry, cat and bird is a kind of pet. Okay. We will go into detail to this. All right. First one is um, association. Okay. So association, you know that how a class looks like, right? There is a, now we only use two compartment, class name and the uh, attribute. Okay. And then this one, you can have association role. Okay. And then uh, association name. And then we also have a row to indicate the direction, all right? And then the, the fine line, sorry, the straight line is the association lah. And then after this, we also, we are going to have multiplicity, okay? So uh, at the moment, you don't have to put this associate, association row. We always use associate, association name, okay? And then the direction. But sometimes there are some um, class diagram, they don't put direction because it's just like we assume that people understand lah where it goes, right, by the, the verb name, okay? Okay, this one is the basically how uh, it looks like in general. It links between two objects. Food co has Grace Chia as a staff member something like that all right and then grace chia maybe is a client to yellow patrice i do not know it's something like this okay all right so another one this is what the one that i told you just now is the multiplicity right the multiplicity uh, it works exactly like the one you learn in database okay one to many many to one okay uh, and then uh, we can also have one to two. It depends on the case study lah. If the case study mentioned that the number, uh, then you have to put the number. So usually we put like this. One in this case, bank card, one bank customer will have one or more account. Okay, owns one or more account. Or if you draw it this way, it means you are telling the reader that bank customer uh, only has and can only has one account, okay? So this one, it says every bank account is owned by one and only one customer. Some, same thing lah, the other way around, okay? So you have to be careful of the multiplicity because uh, it will determine the structure of the database as well. Okay, so you cannot simply like because there is the there is the difference between one to many and only one. Okay, so this is another example. Let's say zero. Uh, one staff can have no client, right? Allies to no client at all, or maybe one staff has so many clients. Okay, so in this case, we have one and zero to many for client, okay? This is another example, so I don't have to go to this one. Okay, so basically, uh, these are the common uh, multiplicity that we have. Exactly one, zero or more, one or more, zero or more, uh, this one is a specified range. So be careful because uh, last last semester I always mention the number. So you have to put something like this. Two to four, what? One, two, three. These are, I don't really use this joint range. Lah. This joint range is something like an employee is a member of one to three or five committees. So, because if you put like this, two to four, it means it limits two until four. So, this one you also mentioned, it starts from three until five. So, you use uh, this comma. 
Okay, so be careful of this multiplicity, but I think you have no problem on this. Okay. Eh, mana dia punya ni? Hey. No, okay. Alright, last one. Uh, another relationship that we have is the aggregation and composition. Okay, so this one is quite um, confusing lah at the beginning. Because uh, it means the same thing. Consists of has a part of has part is made up is part of so let's say a door is part of a car okay and an employee is a part of department okay so uh, in this situation when you say about consists of a part of so you are telling you are by right you should use aggregation and composition Okay, the aggregation is essentially any whole part relationship or weak type, okay, may survive without the other. For example, uh, what now? Ada example tak? Okay, give me example lah. Later. Composition is stronger, okay. Uh, composition is stronger, it means that let's say for faculty, Let's say I give you an example of faculty. Faculty, uh, a faculty uh, consists of few buildings. Okay. A faculty consists of few buildings. So if there is no building, then there is no faculty. So that is composition. If you say something, uh, aggregation is a weak one. Uh, let's see. Okay, a human has hands. Has two hands, for example, two hands. Okay, a human has two hands. It is aggregation because if you don't have two hands, you still a human. So that is aggregation. Okay. Alright, uh, I will give another example exercise for this part. But before that, please do this. Okay, uh, I think yesterday I told three groups, right? So, uh, these three groups, can you go to your team and then answer this question? Boleh ke? Senyap je, you all ni dapat ke tak? Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. The rest, please do this. Then I will look at your answer later. We combine lah. We tengok. Alright. A user enables to activate only one augmented reality object at one time. Okay. The user can rotate the AR object to see the different view of the object and poke it to interact with it. Please draw the plus diagram. Ah, siap, please take it. So you have uh, you, your your classes. Okay, let's answer first. Then I can I will comment it. So what should I do now? Oh, group mana eh? Uh, group T4. Team Red. Yeah, I nak tutup satu lagi. Sekejap, sekejap. I buka tutup Microsoft Team. Oh.
All right. Your question, do you hear me? Yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. Okay. Yes, doctor. Your, your question just now, apa tadi siapa? Azwaliana. Wait, Hanina as uh, it means there are separate rules for private protected. Oh no, there's no there's no separate. Ah, yeah, correct lah. Just like Lian said, there is no separate line for like a private protector or public. There is only three compartment. Mm, class name, attribute, operation. That's it. So, but then, because it just, if you relate with the programming, you know that uh, when you have attributes, you declare a variable, right? You have to mention whether it's a private ke, public ke, betul tak? So, uh, that is how class diagram provide this uh, negative uh, plus or hashtag. Okay. But you don't have to, the separation is meant only for class name, uh, attribute and operation only. That's all. Not more than that. Okay. It, uh, other group? I think it's a group. Where is Z in you? Z in you is here? I have to go there.
Okay, uh, anyone wants to share the answer? Tak apalah, saya tengok kat sini je. Great. Alright, we have uh, no Dina. So, yeah. uh, sorry, that's wrong Dina. You have to put put AR and rotate AR on the third compartment. And then uh, Muhammad Shahir. Muhammad Shahir, eh, I can share kat sini. Yeah. Ah, ada lah kat sini. But I cannot make it big. Can I? Ah, can. Ah, okay. So this one is Muhammad Shahir's answer. Oh, you use composition. Why you use model? Why do you use composition, uh, aggregation? Why do you use select model? Why? Why Shahir? I don't understand. Okay, thank you very much. Next. Uh, okay, Maral asks, uh, should we mention the type of attributes? Yes, you can. Then your classes are more refined, like string ID. Yes, 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 definitely. Okay. So, uh, so what exactly the answer? Good, eh? So what uh, the answer is very simple, straightforward. So, so many. Yeah. How to open? How to open? Even to open, why? Why is it like this? Ah. This is my answer. I don't say this is right. But then I think basically that is this is the gist. Mm. So you can see the different answer that you gave me. And then uh, for the three groups just now, uh, I already informed them the answer, but I cannot share it here. So eh, let me see whether I can access. Okay, so this is my answer. Uh, if you want to see your friend's answer. Wait, eh? So this is, I'm not remember whose answer, this is the first answer, it's acceptable as well, a uh, little bit different from mine, for me it's uh, more refined, uh, they mentioned the, what, the written value of POP, for example POP is a method and then the written value is the AR object that you will activate with, okay. But actually, if you do it this way, oh, okay, all right, I understand. Okay, never mind. And then multiplicity is one to one. And then you can see the rest lah. All right. The next one. 
Ah, uh, this is the next, the the second one. The simpler version uh, is is not wrong, but uh, you cannot score full mark. Okay. Uh, there are methods there: rotate, poke, interact, AR. But then the association is not complete. It's only one over there. See, but it's more or less like this. But this is a it, this is the typical answer which is correct. But you cannot get full mark. Okay. Uh, this is the one. Another one. Okay, this is correct. Uh, it has everything. Uh, it's not a refined one, but then it has everything. Okay. And uh, this is another answer. Okay. All right. Uh, you have to look at the the red one. User interact with the AR object. So the user has methods only. So you can see the you can see, uh, the user class uh only has methods. Okay, so if in that situation you have to to put it at the third compartment, which means the second compartment will be blank. You cannot simply put it on the second one. If you put it in second one, it means it's wrong. All right, and then it has multiplicity one to one, and then interact, and then with the arrow to the AR object. So if you have uh, this situation where uh, you don't have operation or attribute. To explain about uh, the class, so you can just simply put the class name. You don't have to create like the upper one, the black, the black uh, box, the R object is, you know, it has two compartments, but then the second compartment is blank. So it, this is not a good design. Okay, so this is the uh, answers given by your friends. Right? Any question? Like there. Okay, so if you have no question, let me, oh my god. Okay, let's continue. I have another question actually, but then never mind, we don't have really have time. Okay, the next one. Okay, another uh, element that you have to know is the composition, uh, aggregation and composition. Okay, so it's a unfilled for aggregation is a unfilled diamond. Okay, so unfilled diamond aggregation it means it's a weak relationship. Okay. So what does it mean by this example? Campaign, uh, one campaign will have no advert, can have no advert or many advertisement, advert, all right? But then uh, the association is a, is a strong association, which is aggregation, uh, because campaign always come with advertisement, always come with advertisement, but it's not really... Um, However, there is when we talk about campaign, it always comes with advertisement. But then we know that there are situations where we have campaign, but we don't create any advertisement. So in this situation, we we can have aggregation relationship. Okay, another one, eh? Another example. Let's say class. Class uh, can have. Uh, class consists of student, all right. So one class can also has a situation when there is no student. So let's say, for example, uh, in the faculty, we offer always offer many courses. So every uh, there there are some courses uh, have few classes, and then that classes is open every semester. However, there are there are situations when there is no takers, there's no student. So the classes is there, but there is no student. But when you talk about class, 
you you must relate it with student. So this situation is aggregation situation. Okay. So I think just now uh, there is one student put uh, aggregation in the relationship. Actually, it's acceptable. Uh, but then if you have aggregation all the way in the diagram, it's not really good. Because aggregation also represents something in the programming. Okay, later on, I show you. Lah. Another one is a composition. For me, composition is quite straightforward. Okay, because it has a very strong relationship. Meal is made of, made up from uh, ingredients. So you cannot say something as a meal if there is no ingredient. Okay, but then there are certain, um, uh, yeah, something like that. Okay, so it's a field diamond signify composition. And then the relationship is a one meal to one ingredient or many ingredients. Okay. So uh, this is another one. Um, one room can have one room uh, can have uh, must be part of building. Okay, you cannot say a building without rooms. So it must be. Okay, so this is a uh, composition. So same thing goes to mouse, uh, this one, uh, okay. So when you buy a mouse, part of the mouse is a button. You must have a button, whether it's a virtual button or it's a button as a button. So, but then it's a part of. So this is, we call it as a composition. All right. Okay. Yes, you can you can say that. You can say that uh, one Muhammad, uh, zero means that it's most likely aggregation. Yes. But then it must be related now. If you think about, it's a, it's a, it must be related. It must be related. I don't know how to say, but it must be related. It's re room and building is related. It is related. We know that room and building is related. Uh, student and subject is not related. So there's, you cannot have a student class and subject class and, uh, and then you use aggregation or composition. It's just like normal association. It's not, student is different story from subject story. Totally different, but room and building is the same story. Uh, campaign and advert is always one story. Student and class is always about one story. Subject is different, class is different, but this one mm, because you you cannot have class uh, uh, without related with student. You know, because uh, the class will change to a room, uh, something like that. It can, it won't be a class anymore. It will be a, a room. Okay, so let's try this. Uh, a text editor uh, app allows user to type text into a document. Each document consists of several pages, okay, where each page has several paragraphs. The user can print the text as a document or based on specific page. Draw a class diagram. Okay, draw now and give your answer in the chat.
what are the classes here? Uh, doctor, can you question again? Okay, can you hear me? Yes, yes doctor. Yes, doctor. I share my screen. Why cannot share screen? Oh, okay. Come back to me. Oh, yeah. Okay, what are the classes involved? User, correct. What else? So, user and document. Ah, okay. User, document, page, paragraph. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me go. Okay, we have user. Okay, we have paragraph. We have what else we said just now? Page. And then we also have document. What you All right. So what are the relationships? Yeah. Text editor, no. Ah, this is very interesting. Text editor is not a class. This is an app. The system you build, the app that you build is not part of the class. It's just like use case diagram. Lah. It's just like a use case diagram. By right, actually, the, the upper one is the... By right lah. There is a box to see the name of this. I say that text editor add and the whole box. Maybe it's a class diagram. Ah. <coughs> Sorry. And okay, what is the relationship, guys? I don't see any answer. Between what and what? 
what's the relationship between document and paragraph? Composite. Document composed of paragraph. Where else? How about page? Oh. Paragraph also composed by Okay, what else? How about user and document? Or user with a paragraph or page? How about user? No, not aggregate. Association, user and document is an association. Correct, Mara. It's just a normal association. So the user can print the text as a document or based on specific page. So it means that the user can have something like this. Okay, the actually is a box. We want a box. All right. So now you can have actually you can have seen me now. Not a really a problem. One user can print one or many document. This one is up to me because it doesn't mention in the case study. Okay, it does. It does. Does it? It has. Where if page has several paragraph or that one is different. Okay, the user can print the text as a document or based on specific page. So, in this one and also can print. Is it? I don't think so. Am I correct? Is this correct? Because I have this. Oh, we can give a multiplicity. Text is a string. Text is a string. Okay, let me show you the answer. Do I have it here? Not sure. Ah, tunggu lah sekejap. Uh, document. Document is composed of pages, yes. 
Documents composed of pages. Tak boleh buka, why? Ah, okay. Okay. So, the user can print uh, the document but I don't have to have association with the page because page is a part of the document. So, he can choose uh, when he uh, when the user wants to print whether it's uh, the whole document or the page, he just access the document class. Everything is there. It's a part of when you talk about document, it's a, there, there is page there, there is paragraph there. So, whether you want to print page or document, you assess the same thing. Okay. Hey, don't ask me this two question. Don't, don't, don't you ever. I think you just join my class. Eh? It is for week for you already. My existing students already know that what I hate most. Okay, next is um, generalization. So I don't have to mention to you about generalization uh, because uh, it's about inheritance. You have done it in the FOP. So basically, it looks like this. So a uh, user, uh, no, parking attendant and customer can be a user, right? But uh, the relationship is a generalization because parking attendant also... Uh, can access information about username, password, login status, login, password methods, sharing the same uh, attributes and methods. So this is generalization. So I don't have to go all this slide. You can go through this. It's, a, it's very repetition. Okay. So this one, you can see the relationship. Uh, another example. Okay. You have staff member allocated with some grade okay and then this staff member actually can be can be admin staff and creative staff the difference between these two admin staff can calculate bonus and the other one creative staff uh, based on qualification okay the bonus based on qualification however both admin and creative staff uh, must has attributes on staff name, number, start, uh, staff start date. Okay, so I don't have to go through this. This one, I don't need to show you because you already know about this. Okay, next one is a dependency. All right, there is another relationship. Okay, uh, in class diagram, they call, they call it as a dependency. So, easy to say dependency happens when uh, there are two classes that has a rela dependency relationship, of course. How, uh, how different this relationship with other relationship is, once you remove okay, one of these two classes, the whole thing remove. Example. Okay, users, all right, you can read this. The most common kind of dependency relationship is the connection between a class that only uses another class as a parameter to an operation. Okay, so for example, this cost schedule depending on cost, all right. So uh, the cost schedule has method add. You will add schedule, which is about the cost. You can remove the schedule about the cost, all right? So when I say that it really re, uh, depends to each other, it means that if you remove cost, cost schedule also remove, cannot run, okay? If you remove a uh, cost schedule and also cost also it will not uh, depend on cost. But the cost is, is there. Oh, the composition is different the other way around. 
composition the other way round. Ah. So dia bagi salah ajaran to the lecture. Both staff have calculated bonus. Why is it not in the exit plan? Oh, you are right. Okay, based on this diagram, it looks like calculate bonus should be in the staff member class as well. Because, um, what they call that, if you look, uh, because that you cannot really see what's inside calculate bonus. Okay. However, however, we put it in each uh, class under admin staff and creative staff because calculate bonus uh, for admin staff uh, compute without qualification. Calculate bonus for creative staff compute based on qualification. You get me one moment? Hey, you all can hear me, right? Why oh, you keep on silent? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Hello, Dr. Uh, okay. So you get my answer, right? Why calculate bonus exists in both admin staff and creative staff? We do not put it uh, under staff member because the way they compute is different. All right. Okay. So please study this dependency. Uh, this one you can see through this example if a uh, cost schedule uh, if cost is not there if you remove cost cost schedule will remove definitely okay so if you remove cost schedule cost still there it's still there okay so it is the cost schedule that really depend on the cost. It will depend on the cost. Okay. So uh, that's all for today. Uh, do you have any question? Or we can go for exercise. We still have. I have to finish earlier because because of other things. But before that, maybe I can share with you this question. We can do it together. Okay, next week test then. Next week test on Tuesday. Just to remind you, next week is uh, week five. Can week five? Yeah, week five. So on Tuesday, you're going to have mid exam. It's a MCQ. I already put everything in the course information. Uh, it carries. 10 marks only, so it's okay, all right? It's an MCQ. Uh, I try to use other platform, but it looks like other platform do not support so many functions, then it looks like you've got no choice but to use Spectrum. Hopefully, Spectrum can handle my 300 students. And then what time are we inform you? But during the lecture session, uh, definitely. And then, uh, and also you have to submit SPD this Thursday and then use case diagram next Thursday. Okay, so if you, why well, you have bad feeling here? <laughs> and do the, the exercise then you should. Okay. Uh, I don't worry about my 304 students, but my concern is my other 23 students, okay? Uh, for your information, I'm not sure whether they are here or not, because so far I got how many students? Yeah. Ah, see, currently in the meeting 209, so I got 323 more students actually. So, if there are new students here, make sure you have a group for project, okay? Because I will not tolerate on project. 
Okay. This time, because some of you are just annoying. I don't like it. You have to remember, even though you are working with the computer, with the system, but still you are dealing with people. What do you, what does it mean by people? Ah, you are big enough to think about that. Okay, please make sure, I, do, I don't want to repeat, next week, test and submission for use case like that. Don't worry much about SPD, worry more on the use case like that. If your SPD is too bad, very, very bad, I will return back to you and tell you it is wrong, please redo something. Use case diagram, uh, I don't think so. Okay? So what is your answer for this question? Yeah, Spectrum ID. I try to use Google Form, but then they have so many limitations. I cannot. I have to use Spectrum. Cannot. I don't have time for that. So what is your answer for this? What is your, 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 your classes? Okay. What is your classes? Anyone? User, paling senang lah, right? User, what else? Main class sensor. Ah, user. Eh, user. Ah, we are talking about robot, tau. We are talking about robot. We are talking about a robot. No user lah. You don't need a user to be part of the system. Anyone can press the button. It's just like a leaf, you know, the leaf, leaf, the leaf, right? Do you have to register in order to use the leaf? No, right? You just press the button and use the leaf. Lah. But the leaf itself has system to function. So, okay, what's the... Uh, no user. That's it. Sensor. Camera lah. Sensor. Okay, what else? Okay, then today, next week. We still have one week to study the whole. Oh, by the way, the test until today's lecture. <laughs> I did not know Saturday I feel so happy. Sensor, light sensor. Ah, correct. Oh, light sensor. What else? Proximity sensor. What else? Distance sensor. Okay, so where did you get all this answer? Let me check. For oh, me, light sensor, proximity sensor, distance sensor. All sensor, be, uh, we read value in a point of one, zero, however, the light sensor and everything like blah, 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 blah. Okay, then what is the association, the relationship between them? The robot do not need a user to run. You can train your cat to turn on the button and the robot will activate. Right. So what do so if you need a user it means you have to register animal as a right. What is the relationship? Anyone? So I have all the classes, correct? Oh, okay, uh, Muhammad Zahin, robot, and then sensor, and then, ah, ah. Mm. and then, yeah, 
Wait. Wait, wait. Sorry, eh? This is how it looks like when you work from home. Ah, generalization. Because it's all about sensor. See? And then uh, the rest is all the We read, uh, however, the light side is explain the difference between light sensor, proximity, and distance sensor. And then we have mobile robot. Sensors in mobile robot will be activated once they're okay. What is this mobile robot? Ah, robot can have one or more sensor. Can have a one mobile. What else? No. The whole thing here is about the whole. Uh, w. The whole thing here is about mobile robot. Mobile robot is this, is a system. It's a system. It's just like what? Uh, you develop an app, do you have to put handphone inside the class diagram? No, right? No, oh, you don't have to. Unless you have other explanation. Lah. The whole thing about sensor, you are talking about the mobile robot. Okay? Okay? Alright, that's all for today. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry, I have to finish it early. Uh, I have other things. Uh, so, that's all for today. Uh, please study. Alright? Um, for those who do not have project group yet, please form the group. And then, please inform me, email me, join the telegram, I do not know. And then uh, next week for test is, is going to be MCQ uh, using Spectrum uh, cover from uh, week one until week four. Okay, until today's process. All right. Yes, the operation on. I will not go to that level. Okay, thank you very much. See you on Thursday uh, on tutorial of classes. Bye. Thank you, Doctor. 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 Remember. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. I will inform the, the latest information. Thank you, Doctor. Please alert with the information through the Telegram group. Okay, thank you.